What's up, YouTube? Let's check out what Heihachi looks like in Tekken 8. I don't know what he's going to look like. All I know is I was standing there in Evo when the we were waiting to get into the arena, and the line was so goddamn big, and the arena was at max capacity, and the fire marshal made an announcement that said we cannot let anybody else in. So I sat there. I was talking to these two guys for like an hour in that line, and then we looked up and saw the trailer for him. I thought he looked cool as hell. Let's see what he looks like in action. Is this on correctly? Yes, it is. Is this the trailer? Or is this something else? No, it's the trailer. It's gotta be. Get ready for the next battle. Section 8. New Challenger! I'm gonna pause here. This is the only time I'm gonna pause, but I will tell you two things. One, he looks fantastic. That's the coolest he's ever looked. The graphical fidelity is wild. Um, two, his voice actor sounds pretty good. Didn't the main guy who voiced him in the last game pass away? So now they got somebody else? He sounds pretty good. All right, the song slaps. I think it sounds like a Tekken 7 track, but let's find out. I'm not going to pause the rest of the way through until we rewind. <laughs> Oh, he looks fantastic, dude. Oh, that was a stance, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. That's classic. Sidestep. That's another stance, wasn't it? Nope. Stance, throw. Alright, so he's got rain as shit. Forward. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did they turn broken toy into like a rage thing? Into a heat burst? That's tight if so. Oh. You gotta be- dude. That is the sickest intro in the game. Okay, Hunting Hawk, right? Oh, okay. I don't like that. <laughs> That's cool looking- what the hell? Is that Paul's wall standing too? That's cool. The stomp having a lightning strike is tight. What the hell? Oh, shit. Are these new moves? No, these were in the trailer. Not that I know. Ugh. Oh, boy. Super long, super animations. I won't spoil it since they go over it. It looked like something extra at the end. Early access. That's me because I bought the season. September 30th, so six days? Hell yeah. And then the official is three days later. All right. Even if I didn't have early access, that'd be fine. So he's a, a week. So he's going to be out in a week. That's tight. I have to wait another month and a half. Oh. I like that costume. Oh, yeah, and they gave him the, uh, the Tekken 7. The stage is fan-fucking-tastic. Okay, two... Th art direction? 
these guys are are hitting home runs with the stages and the music. Oh my god. If you want to talk about part of the reasons I'm sticking with this game, the art direction pretty fucking good. Got a call? Have a good day, Scorcho. The stage is tremendous. New chapter. Uh, don't really give a shit. I don't like the story of this game at all. But that's fine, I guess. I'm not even going to play it. I don't want to bother. <laughs> Just give me the character and get out of the way. Let me play the video game. I don't want to watch no stupid story cutscenes. <laughs> Harada. One day later. One the day after because I had to run off for dinner and I didn't get a chance to really sit and watch uh, like more Heihachi. And since um, he was revealed yesterday, there's also been a bunch of videos coming out like discussing him. I don't want to go into the minutia of like how he works. I just wanted to kind of see actual matches and see how he looked because... If I'm honest with you, I think Heihachi looks fantastic. I like him a lot. His graphics are fantastic. His stage is great. The The moves he's doing, the electric effects look great. His little mannerisms, he laughs at the start of the third round. Um, I think the only problems I have with Tekken 8 Heihachi are the things that Tekken 8 presents. This is just another character where I'm just like... The game itself is the issue. If you stripped away the heat system, like, the one thing I really dislike here, I'm going to show it to you first because I made note of it because I was watching this and trying to have an open mind. But let me see if I can find this real quick. It's just when... When he hits with his heat smash... There's something I really hate about the heat smashes in this game. So let me see if I can find it here. I think he went around with it. Yeah, here we go. So... He's got two of his installs. I guess he activated heat there, so now you see the two. So now we're in heat, and he's got, like, red... His, like... He just turns red. First of all, I don't like that. Because I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, a Jimpachi type deal. Or if that's supposed to good, look good. It just doesn't look good how he turns beat red. Like, that's... See, right now he looks great. And then he turns into Hakan. Once he's got uh, heat going. That looks silly. I don't like that. The red thing with with the chest is fine. If that turned red, that would be understandable. But it's like his, his whole body turns red. And then when he hits the heat smash, notice this. This is part of the reason I don't like Tekken 8 is because the over... Uh, f just the absolute focus on these big, crazy, heat-related animations. You're constantly... They're not the long... They're not big, long, super animations, which I also hate, which are also in the game. We'll get to that later. It's not just the big, stupid rage animations. It's the constant... It's the same thing as Reina. Those slowdowns they get, that should be what a super animation is. But the super animations are like 11 seconds now on average. And they're all the same. They're all teleporting to some other place. It's There's three DLC characters in a row that just got, oh, we're going to teleport you someplace. And then we're going to do a bunch of moves. And then it's going to explode and we're going to be back where we were. It's not cool. The stages are fantastic. Why do we have to teleport away from them? This is one of the coolest stages I've ever seen in Tekken. And they want to teleport to some weird... It's like a Dark Souls area. I don't get it, man. It's it, The game is so good when it's just the game, when it doesn't slow down to over show itself off. And this is one big example of that. And that's why I like Heihachi. I don't like Tekken 8. So it's he looks good in Tekken 8, but not because of the Tekken 8 stuff. So it's a the, the frustration with this game is similar to Street Fighter 6. It's like if they could just make certain small changes to the to the flow. In Street Fighter 6, it's the confirm and a drive rush, it's just Slurm Fighter. It's confirm and a drive rush, or it's time for the throw loop guess in the corner. Are you going to throw loop, am I going to shimmy you, or am I just going to meaty the shit out of you and you're going to die? Um, in Tekken 8, it's, okay, uh, we're, we've been playing the game back and forth, now it's time to do our poses, and now you got to sit here and take the, my turn for, like, it's like Dragunov... Rain is the same way a little bit, you just got to hold that shit, you can't respond because she's got auto parry stance, Lydia is the same way... It is so frustrating when this game turns into Tekken 8 and not just Tekken. Because the regular Tekken portions of this game are so good. So I'm going to illustrate it with this one round right here. We're going to start at the beginning of the round. So it's round two. You're going to hear like the gong. Heihachi's got one of his install levels. If he gets to three, so I guess if he activates heat three times, he, he turns into a god. Or you can do a manual stance to turn into a god. Fight. Gong starts electric uh, launch. Cool. Two electrics. That's a great looking combo. I like it. I don't mind the stance stuff out of forward three or whatever that stomp is. 
But now we're at the wall. Now we pop heat. And now we're doing Lydia shit. Now we're doing this rapid fire punch nonsense. Why is he so much like Lydia? If this is some story nonsense just to give Lydia some relevance to the main characters, it is unnecessary. It's not interesting. Like, it isn't interesting to me that he met with Lydia. How is that interesting? He met... I'll have to go look at the story and be like, is this worth the changes they made to this character? Is this what they gave him? But that rapid fire punch stuff, it's just like Lydia. It's not good. It t it 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 neg his identity becomes worse because of that because he looks so similar to her. It's like why? Um, as far as I know, she's not related. But if we're just adding more, if this is just another Lars situation where we're arbitrarily adding another old character into the Mishimas because they're not interesting in of themselves, that's a problem. If Lydia is not interesting in of herself that you have to make her a Mishima or make her like part of the family or add something new, it is so missing the mark. That's the point. I'm not going to call it bad. It's just missing the point. This is fun back and forth fighting game. Not. It's like they want this big woven Yakuza Zero style story. And then you see it manifest in the move list and it's like there's no reason for this. So I see Heihachi. And I like him. I was watching the trailer. You saw my reaction from yesterday. It's cool. But then I see shit like that, and I and then you just see this. Now we do a hunting hawk into a big chop. Guess what? It's Tekken 8. You gotta hold those plus frames. I'm in heat, so he probably gets that in heat. And now guess what? You gotta hold this next mix. Look at his white health. And then he gets heat smashed. Now watch this animation. Of course it has to slow down. Right when he lands the chop. I thought that was something in the trailer. I was saying, I hope to God there isn't an arbitrary slowdown in the middle of this animation. Just so I have to stare at it every... It's the same thing as Lydia. So, I love Heihachi. I like him in Tekken. I like him in Tekken 8. I don't like the Tekken 8 mechanics associated with him. They are overcooked bullshit. This, this is overcooked bullshit right here. This whole round. This whole round is overcooked bullshit. They changed, I guess that's forward three. They made that go into a stance. Now he's a stance character. Once again, stance mix-up characters. We're popping heat. We're doing some Lydia shit with that political storm into my uh, forward one, I guess. Or whatever that... I think it's wall standing one? I don't even know that with Heihachi enough. I haven't played him since Tekken 3. Hunting Hawk into massive plus frames because I'm in heat, so of course I get massive plus frames. Because why would you? Why would we want you to retaliate? And then guess what? You get heat smashed because that's just how this game works. And then just to make sure you got it, did did you get it yet? Did you get it? Your heat smashed. This should be what a super animation is. This should be what a super a rage art animation is in this game. The flow of this game is so ruined by all this new anime level bullshit. At least that's how I feel as somebody who plays the game a lot and likes it and wants to like it. And the parry, that's fine. And then he just caught you with a big fat mid after he did the running three to... What's that called? Legend kick? Yeah, like this. That heat smash. With a character like King, it makes sense to have a big goddamn slam. And have it slow down just to emphasize the impact of that. Why do we have to slow down just to show that he's chopping your neck into the ground here? Why does it have to get that extra two seconds of pause? I don't want to make a big deal out of stuff, stuff that's small, but... Somebody said something, I forget where it was, it was either Discord or Reddit. Somebody said something like, that's, it's so, the little design decisions they make, they're so unnecessary, and the noobs won't know the difference, but the old heads will hate it. And by the animations, I don't mean that they don't look cool. They look cool, the actual act, but to see it over and over, and for the game to be a big funnel for how open, Tekken's deep, it's big, the move lists are huge. To, to funnel all that shit, into those two, three moves you're supposed to use, those two, three moves better be the coolest, quickest, most fluid animations ever, and they want to slow them down and make them super oversaturated. It's not... It, the, the visual design is killing me. Cinemat cinematography 
in this game is killing me. And then he probably ends it with the Rage Art, so my final complaint. I'm just going to fast forward. Blues? It looks like a blue spark mid, maybe unblockable. I don't even know what that is. I think that's a 15 to 16 second. I'm going to time this shit. Okay, so let's time it from start time to end time. So, to the start of you getting hit with the move till the end of the animation. Let's see, and this is to, this is to finish the round, so even more so. Okay, so this is the start of the animation. About 17 seconds to get to the victory animation. And let's chop off the last four and four seconds for when he did the final pose. 12 seconds. Can you imagine if there was a 12 second super animation in Street Fighter 3? In Tekken 3. 12 second animation. The clock doesn't move. The clock pauses. So, just to not be too negative for this review. I saw Heihachi and I enjoyed seeing him. He looks fantastic. I like him. I will try him. I will play him. I will keep playing this game. But the dedication to this poor cinematography and overindulgence in these weird design like these weird mechanics it's it's obvious how proud they are of the political storm with lydia it's obvious how proud they are of the big fat heat smashes but functionally as somebody who wants to play this game long term and would love to play this game for 2000 hours or however long i played 7 for or any of the old tekkens i wish i knew how much i played uh tekken 3 it's probably up there but there is something so sad about how this amazing game that should be so much more fluid and back and forth and tight is constantly pumping the brakes. Constantly pumping the brakes. To show you these animations, force you to sit there and watch all these plus frames happen, and now you got to hold more mix. It's not good. It's exhausting. In the same way Street Fighter 6 is. You just got to hold the worst... You just got to hold the most annoying things ever repeatedly. And it's not cool. But I'm going to swallow whatever downsides I have. I'm just going to ask myself, you know what? Just get the, just hit the goals you want to hit. So we're just going to keep playing Tekken. I'm going to try Heihachi, though. He seems like he'd be fun to... He seems like he'd be fun just because he's still him. He's still doing electrics. The only thing I think I don't like and I didn't see was... Uh, I think full crouch down forward too? It's like a 15-frame launcher now. Wasn't that like a big weakness of his? Was he didn't have that? But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good enough to be sitting here contemplating, and I'm not even getting out of... I've only gotten out of pools a couple times, <laughs> so I can't be sitting here talking about like how bad the balance is. I just know that it's definitely... As an old head, it's definitely... This game is more grating. Just as grating as it is great. So that's it. Have a good one.